This type of system is called an aerated wastewater treatment system. It's called an aerated wastewater treatment system because it relies on large volumes of air being pumped into the system. And that air allows vast numbers of bacteria to grow and break down the solids within the, in the wastewater. All the water from your home will drain down to your treatment plant. The water will be treated in this treatment plant and as you can see it's not a very big footprint, it just uh, takes up a small portion of the yard. But from there the water will be either gravity or pumped to a land application area. Now what happens here, it goes through either a three or four stage process. So in here we have where the water comes into the tank. The water is allowed to go in and here we have our first major mechanical component. It's called a blower and this blower pumps that air in and is a very important part of the process. After the water is all aerated and churned up, it needs to settle down and, and let all the solids settle out. And that happens in this main chamber here. So the water settles out and then it goes off for clarification. So in here, we should have a nice, clear effluent. And from there, that effluent then goes across to a chlorination chamber where the water is actually chlorinated to kill any pathogenic organisms that could harm the family. From there, the water goes directly to a pump chamber and this pump chamber pumps directly to our land application area. It's a very simple and effective system and of course the best part about it is that we get to reuse that water on our garden areas. As you can see, aerated wastewater treatment systems offer a great solution as an on-site sewage facility combined with a, an appropriate land application area. However, you must remember that these systems contain mechanical components. As we've discussed, there's an aerator, there's a pump, there's electrical components, and they need to be kept clean, maintained, the garden areas need to be maintained. So, at the end of the day, the best system in the world will not operate effectively unless it's properly maintained. Every on-site storage facility will have one of these. This is called a land application area. A land application area is just a fancy name for somewhere to apply the water from your home after it's been treated. In this particular case, we have a garden area planted with some shrubs to reuse the wastewater. You'll notice that the land application area needs a warning sign saying that the, uh, there's reclaimed effluent being used and it's not fit for human consumption. You'll notice that the drops coming from the sprinkler are quite large. This is to prevent the spray from misting and being breathed in to make it safer for the habitants within the house. Your land application area will also need adequate maintenance. This one's in great condition, but it's fairly new. What happens as land applications get older, the trees get up, there's more shading, it's harder for the water to be transpired to the atmosphere. So what we need to do is make sure we keep the area well mowed, the trees clipped and pruned, any shrubs are looked after. You'll also notice that the sprinklers are well away from any boundary so that they don't affect any neighbouring properties. Fact sheets about maintaining your on-site storage facility are available from Council's website.